Well, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about something. We, we got a very upbeat show uh -huh. tonight. We got a lot of very cool people here, and I think some fun stuff planned. But yeah. I wanted to talk about something uh, at the top of the show that I, I don't think most people know because I think we give the impression here at late night that everything's happy. People right. tend to think that I'm this happy-go-lucky guy. Mm -hmm. You're my happy-go-lucky buddy. Mm -hmm. That we got a happy-go-lucky band, and we just have a ha you know good time. Right. Folks, truth is, we work in an environment that creates a lot of stress. Right. I could crack any time. <laughs> and it can be very tense when you do a TV show, right? Every day, mm -hmm. like we do, and we try and achieve that level of quality that... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's just tense. It's yeah. very tense. And uh, sometimes things are said or done in the process of trying to do the show that people don't mean. They're said in the heat of the moment. So tonight, I thought we should open up the floor to anybody on the staff who feels they need to make an apology, sort of to clear the air. I think this would be good and yeah, therapeutic. Done, before, done yeah. it before, and it always helps. It's a little thing we call late night apologies. I'm sorry. That was my sorry face. Uh, okay, now let's start this. Is there anybody here who wants to get things rolling with a, a little apology? Any, I anybody? guess I will, Conan. Oh, hey, okay, well, folks, this is Tanya Addy. Uh, she, she books the guests on our show. She does a terrific job. Give it up for Tanya. Now, uh, Tanya, what's up? What are you sorry about? Well, Conan, I think I owe you an apology for last week. I booked an author on the show because I thought he was really cute and I didn't research what the book was about. Okay, folks, uh, we're back. My next guest tonight is a very promising new author. Please welcome Dale Wilson. Okay, Dale, thanks very much for being on the show. And uh, you are here tonight to talk about your brand new book, how to Eat Babies. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Oh, come on! You haven't tried it? Try it! You'll like it! Shut up! Shut up! Oh. Shut up! That was bad. Yeah, I bet. But... He, he was pretty cute, though. <laughs> she was right about That's that. That's enough, Richter. All right. I guess I need to make an apology to all of our viewers for last night's show. I had an idea, kind of a conceptual idea, to do an all-mind-reading show oh, yeah. where, where we conduct the entire hour using mental telepathy. And um, as you can see from my interview with Michael Palin, you know, of Monty Python fame, it, it didn't quite work out. I'm sorry, take a look. Well, didn't you say stroke my cheek and shower me with tender kisses? No, I didn't say that. Concentrate. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I could have sworn that was... Uh, actually, actually, that was me. <laughs> she thought the, the baby oh, book guy was cute. Was cute, and yeah. And Michael Palin should kiss Right. Him. And that's all we'll say about it. <laughs> you know, I owe you an apology. I mean, aside from that stuff. Um, I got this book off the internet. It tells you how to make a clone of yourself at home. A clone? Really? Yeah, like just using like, you know, Tupperware and stuff. <laughs> I thought this would be great. You know, make a clone of me when I didn't want to do the show, have him do it for me. But you know what? That clone and stuff is harder than it looks. Look at this. Okay, folks, uh, let's get right into it. I was actually thinking tonight that Andy and I could take a little time at the top of the program here and do a little point-counterpoint about the impending presidential election. What do you say, Andy? Sound good? What do you say, Andy? Sound good. Uh, okay, well, who do you like, Bush or Gore? Who do you like, Bush or Gore? Uh, I... I, I, I guess I, I like Gore, but, but you like Bush, maybe, huh? You like Bush, maybe. Uh, 
What do you think about the race, Andy? Any observations? Tops of vase. <laughs> okay, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Good idea. Well, we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna take a little break right now, and we're gonna take a little break. And Hi. We'll, we'll, we'll be right. Hi. Right back. <laughs> I thought that went about as well as most of the stuff we do. <laughs> and I, I just am shocked at how much a bad clone of me looks like Bruce Valanche. <laughs> Excuse me, Conan? Uh, yeah? Oh, hey, it's Liz. It's Liz Planka, our director. Yeah. She directs the show, makes mm -hmm. it all happen. She's a real whiz. What's up, Liz? Well, there was an accident when Tom Hanks was on that I never told you about. Part of a documentary we were watching in the booth got superimposed over the interview, and I think it might have made you look a little foolish. Take a look. Let's have a meeting with the, with this, the boiler room boys, the great triumvirate of talent that exists here in the, in the right. building. And you, we actually had a scheduled, big time Hollywood confab. You uh -huh. came to me. Uh -huh. I think I had pastries <laughs> set out for you. Yeah. Coffee. You did. Oh, wait a minute. What, what documentary? Yeah. E -oh, e -oh, e -oh. I just can't believe what what what, what documentary is that? The, the 24-hour braying ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the history of the Democratic Party. <laughs> yeah, uh, nicely uh, done. Thank you. Well, I guess that just about wraps everything up, folks. Excuse me, we... Conan. Excuse yeah. me, Conan. Yes, yes. I think that was Joel, our our announcer. He announces the show yeah, yeah. every night. What's up, uh, Joel, old pal? I owe you an apology. Well, Joel, what do you what do you have to apologize for? Well, a few nights back, I wasn't quite myself when I announced you at the top of the show. In fact, I think I was slightly disrespectful. You know? I'm sorry. From NBC Studios in New York, it's Late Night with Coon and the Wasp Face. Tonight's big fat weatherman, Al Roker. <laughs> Leatherface rating or Jerry Springer. And musical guest, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'd rather listen to the sounds of my own farts. With Andy, I want to quit. Richter and the Max Weinberg Seven, who are probably high. Now, here's your host. Oh, f it, I'm out of here. Yeah, that wasn't so good. <laughs> That's okay, Joel. Who are probably high. <laughs> who are probably high. On that wacky tobacco. <laughs> All right, well, folks, we're going to take a little break. Uh, but uh, I'm excited when, when uh, we come back from break, uh, someone's going to bring some class uh -huh. to this operation. Bob Costas is here. If he can't save us. <laughs>